why did you leave? Well, I had some issues in terms of trust with my bandmates, and uh, you know, because I it's very difficult to explain the whole thing, it's boring anyway. But I, I just felt like I, I I had certain things that were that weren't right. Were that were, it was in things that I I couldn't. It made me feel like I couldn't trust the people I was with, and uh, that made it very hard for me. But then we got to the end of the year; it was so successful at this point that we then just sat down and then we we should keep going, you know. But I think really my time was over by that point. But I kept going for another couple of years. You know, running the running the family, the, the album's called The Net Following Year, was very successful. It has a couple of good songs on it. But the way it was recorded was kind of like formulaic based on something about you. So if you, if you listen to Lessons in Love, it's got the uh, amazing guitar parts of my brother. But it's basically the same kind of vibe in structure as something about you because we'd hit upon a formula in, and... Uh, I don't, I don't work like that. I can't function like that. You know, I, I really don't like that attitude to music. So I, my, I knew my time was up, but I, I, I saw out the project and I left at the end of that the following year, you know, after the tour. What was know. the reaction when you said you were leaving? Did, would they, were they surprised or not surprised? They weren't surprised. And, and at that point, uh, we had a very kind of interesting management situation, divide and rule kind of vibe. So it was, it was, it was kind of, I don't think that, you know, they, they don't, I don't think people care too much, really. I think it, uh, it was just, just seen as being difficult. I thought the label thought I was being difficult. I remember like, having an argument with the label on the artwork because they, uh, there was an album, an album called Will, you know, Will Machine and there was a track called A Physical Presence. So I, I gave them all the titles and here's all the titles of the credits. And when they showed me the sleeve, it said Physical Presence. And I said, well, the song's called A Physical Presence and that's what we sing. A physical presence. Why have you dropped the A? Well, you don't need that. And I said, that's not your decision to make and then they go like why are you being difficult <laughs> like so i had this reputation of being like a bit difficult maybe it was i don't know but like i was trying to maintain standards and like also maintain i was saying well I, i'm i don't expect you to sort of come up to modify titles and think, I know, it sounds a bit petty now but it was just like that i, I was had there was a perception in the band that i was uh, the tricky one or the arty one and uh, oh. perhaps that may have been true, but the, but the bottom line is all the all the album titles and concepts came from me, and, and most of the so I co-written I co I'd co-written eight of the nine songs on on the World Machine, so I thought I had a stake in it, but um, the label had uh, had other ideas, you know.